local all morning. The Fox 61 morning news starts now. And right now at 6 o'clock, monkey pox vaccines are here in Connecticut. A long list of clinics are opening today. We'll tell you uh, what to know if you think you're at risk and what to do to protect yourself. And four people hurt after a shooting in Hartford. What police are saying about the violence so far as they continue to investigate? Well, it's not back to school time yet, but it's getting closer. Bus companies still trying to hire. So if you're looking for a job, we'll tell you how to apply. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us this Monday at 6 o'clock. I'm Erica Arias. And I'm Tim Lammers. Good morning to you. We certainly hope you had a good weekend. It's a wet start to the day out there as we get over yeah. to meteorologist Matt Scott joining us now. Certainly something we could use. Well, good yes. morning to you. And so, I'll take it early on a Monday morning. So listen, we're going to start with a science lesson. The water that's falling from the sky, it's called rain. Yeah. And, um, you know, what, you know that? I, no, no. see, no. exactly. I you know, I'd forgotten yeah. too. I had to ah. look it up in an old weather book. Yeah. <laughs> It was nice, nice to wake up to. It really was, and it's been coming down. It's exactly the kind of rain we need. Steady, moderate rain, nothing severe, but still you got to be careful on the roads. We'll check that out with Lauren in a moment. Finally, some rain. Uh, isolated thunderstorms in the week ahead. Maybe what we get today is about all we're going to be seeing for a while. We'll see uh, if there's anything coming. 71 in Hartford, 70 in New Haven, 71 in Groton, upper 60s across the board. That's where your dew points are as well. So it is a little on the uh, muggy side. Here's the radar as we go in a little closer to a couple of spots. We'll start just outside of the metro. Uh, a good downpour pushing out of Manchester, Vernon, Rockville right now. Uh, you'll be in uh, stores in about the next 15 minutes or so. Take it down uh, just towards uh, east of 91 along Route 9, Middletown at the lights by, uh, by the Harbor Park. Be careful there. Um, listen, we haven't had a lot of rain. The roads a little slicker than normal because of this, but moderate rain pushing into Marlboro right now. This is winding down, and once this is done, we're not going to see much in the way of rain uh, again for today and maybe anytime soon. Here's a look at the planter temperatures getting to around 80 degrees. You can see the first half of the day wetter clearly than the second half. Talk about the work week ahead and when we may get those isolated raindrops coming up in a second. Uh, actually coming up in a few minutes. Coming up in a second. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Lauren Zenzi going to talk about how the rain's affecting the roads. Good morning. Good morning to you, Matt. Good morning, everyone. As of right now, we've only seen one crash this morning. That was on the southbound side of I-95 over in West Port. It caused some significant delays, and we'll get to those in just a moment. Do want to bring you out to some good news, though, in the Hartford area. I-91 north and southbound moving just fine. Some delays over near Wrenchler, Wrenchler Field in East Hartford uh, on the eastbound and the westbound side of I-84. No incidents to report, though, as of right now. Taking a live look out in Middletown, just like Matt was saying in Harbor Park, you see that rainfall coming down on Route 9. No incidents, though, just traffic moving a little bit slower. Just take your time this morning. In Hartford, though, I-91 north and southbound moving just fine. Do see some heavy delays on the northbound side of I-91 in the North Haven area, but no incidents have popped up from the DOT website as of yet, but we will uh, talk more about that if anything does pop up. In the southbound side of I-95, some heavy delays out there out in Fairfield, but overall in New Haven, things are looking good. We'll check in again coming up in the next half hour, but coming up at 6.15, I'm going to be with the Connecticut State Police talking about this wrong way driver problem that we're having here in our state and what the state is starting to do to help mitigate that problem, guys. Okay, Lauren, thank you. 604, and today is the day the state is opening up more than a dozen clinics to distribute monkeypox vaccines. But with little supply, only some are recommended to get the vaccine right now. We're checking in with Fox 61's Julia LeBlanc. She's joining us now live in Hartford with much more on what people need to know. Julia, good morning. Hi, good morning to you both. Right now, there are more than 5,000 cases of monkeypox reported across the country. And here in Connecticut, the health department is tracking 33 cases so far. And today, they are opening up new this morning, 13 new health clinics or vaccine clinics to distribute that monkeypox vaccine. One of those clinics is right here on Broad Street in Hartford at the Hartford Gay and Lesbian Health Collective. Now, with only a limited supply, of the vaccine since that first case was reported in Connecticut back on July 5th. The health department is recommending that only specific groups of people 
get that vaccine first. Like anyone who was exposed or came in close contact with someone with the virus has had multiple partners in the last two weeks, men who have been sexually active with other men. And of course, you have to be at least 18 years old to get the vaccine. Now, the clinics are opening up this morning with this one location here in Hartford. There's another as well. And there's also one each in Waterbury, New Haven, Stamford, Middletown, New London, Enfield, Danbury, Clinton, Torrington, Norwalk and Hamden. Now more locations are expected to open up in the coming days. They're expecting about 15 at least this week. So two more will be opening up. Now State Health Commissioner Dr. Jathani says all cases we've seen here in Connecticut so far have been in men and almost everyone has identified as being in the LGBTQ community. What we've seen so far is that there have been no fatalities in the United States. There have been no healthcare workers that have gotten monkeypox from an exposure to date. And there's been nobody on an airplane who's been exposed to somebody who had monkeypox who's been infected. These are promising signs, at least in terms of being able to follow and be able to identify cases Now, monkeypox can show up as a rash that can look like pimples or blisters on your face, inside your mouth, and on other parts of the body. Normally, it lasts about two to four weeks. You can also start showing signs of a fever, headache, muscle and backache, and swollen lymph nodes, chills, and exhaustion as well. Now, right now, the state health commissioner says that we have around 800 doses of the monkeypox vaccine, but they are working really hard right now to increase that supply and eventually open up more clinics across Connecticut. We are live in Hartford this morning. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News. All right, Julia, thank you for that important information for a lot of people. Moving on now at uh, 607, police said a 77 year old man from Bloomfield died in what they're calling a case of domestic violence. The victim died Sunday morning after being attacked Friday on Wall Street. And police have arrested a suspect, 32-year-old Kevin Carter of Bloomfield. They said he's a relative of the victim. Right now he's facing an assault charge, but that could get upgraded. I knew this morning for at 607, police in Hartford are investigating an overnight shooting on Albany Avenue. Shot spotter technology detected shots fired at about 1 o'clock this morning between Woodland Street and Oakland Terrace. While on scene investigating, they say the victim, a man in his 20s, went to the hospital to get treated for a gunshot wound. He is expected to be okay. And several people are recovering this morning as police continue to investigate another shooting in Hartford. It happened along Main Street around 645 last night. Police found a woman in her 20s at the scene with a gunshot wound. Two other injured women, a 19 year old and a 20 year old were also found there. Police tell us that those women were grazed by a bullet. Police also say that a man arrived at a hospital with a gunshot wound around the same time. Anyone with information about what happened should please give Hartford police a call. Wallingford police said a road rage incident ended with a man swinging a hatchet at two people. They arrested 33 year old Charles Smith of West Haven, who's now facing a bunch of charges, including assault. They claim that Smith got mad at a driver who beeped at Smith while well, Smith was trying to back his car up Saturday at Redwood Flea Market. Well, Norwalk police said a man saved a struggling woman in the water only to drown while helping her. They said 60 year old Mauricio Rodas Garcia was walking with the woman Sunday on a sandbar at Calf Pasture Beach when she fell into the water and started struggling with the current. So he went in the water after her. Eventually, bystanders pulled both of them from the water. She wasn't hurt, but he was unconscious and later died at a hospital. Efforts to recruit school bus drivers are ramping up this week as districts hope to avoid significant staffing shortages that plagued the beginning of last school year. Now, the Connecticut School Transportation Association is holding a week-long recruitment event to hire bus drivers in towns and cities all across the state. During a press conference later this morning, state transportation officials are going to talk about the licensing process and also some changes the DMV has made to fast-track this process.